Hi guys, Todd here. Tonight we're going to be having a look at, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you now, this thing. The cube, or the Atti cube, uh, by Wutufu. Now this was sent on to me direct by the, the guys themselves. Thank you Petal. Um, and they sent me on a stainless steel one and a black one, but the black one looks absolutely stunning on my Stormtrooper. Yes, this is my Stormtrooper, mine. Um, now, you can get it in the UK, there's several places in the UK you can get it from, but I'm going to put the shout out to evolutionvaping.co.uk um, because, well, he bugged me about it, so uh, I said I would give them the shout out. I'm only kidding, good guys. 24 99 this costs, uh, 304 stainless steel, uh, adjustable airflow, and it's cubed. Right, uh, yes, I know there's another cubed rebuildable atomizer out there, the the the, the Hellboy. Uh, I do believe this is not a clone. Yes, it's the same shape, but uh, going by that logic, then every other dripper and every other atty out there, and what is a clone? So to hell with that. Uh, I do not believe it is. <sighs> I am, believe it or not on a 0.3 ohm dual coil here. Yes, I went to town uh, because I thought that I should for this. Now, you can close the airflow off on this and you can make it quite tight, you make it as tight as you want, basically, uh, but you can really bung the airflow well open. This is it right open. Yep, uh, you can just, right, yeah, be perfectly honest, I should probably be vaping this at about 60 watts. It's not bad. It's not a bad Atty, this. So, for your pennies, you will get the Atty cubed in a box like this. Or a cube like this. And it will have the scratch and sniff sticker on here. And, yeah, there we go. Right, let's have a look inside. First things first, we have a little Wutufu card. With this on the back. Inside, we will find all these bits and bobs. This bit lifts out. And you'll find all this inside. Uh, right, you have your Atty. Uh, and you know, it's actually quite nice in the stainless steel as well. Uh, and it's a hefty thing. It's not light. It's 52 grams, uh, which, yeah, quite substantial. Uh, right, you do get a, a wide bore drip tip with it. And it's threaded here and it threads straight on to here. And I've not had any issues with the threading at all. So we've got that big wide board going on there. Or you do have a stainless steel 510 adapter. And that screws on. Threading's no issues with the threading at all. And you have this little drip tip here as well. There's no O-rings or anything on it. It just sits on it like that. And just to show you that uh, other drip tips fit on. There's my Spartan Mods drip tip. And yeah, it goes in no problem at all. You also get a little blue screwdriver, o-rings and spare terminal screws there as well. The height of this, not including the, this, the 510, is uh, 27 millimeters, And diameter, well, you're looking at 22 millimeters across the board here. The actual engraving's done quite nicely because it's actually, it's not laser or anything, it's actually etched, you know, it's, it's actually properly engraved and then they filled it in with the black. Uh, so this is actually quite smart, quite impressed with that. On the bottom we have uh, Wutufu and Atti cubed and a serial number. This does look like a silver plated contact here as well and I would say that it is non-adjustable. You don't want to mess about with this. Air holes here, you're looking at 7mm by 2mm. 7 by 2mm, sorry I should say. Uh, on each one and you've got one on either side as well and I'll show you how the airflow works in a minute. I'm just going to pop the chuff cap back on here and just show you this but basically with the chuff cap on uh, if I just spin this you can see the air holes opening and closing here so you can have the bottom air hole open on both sides you can have them both open on both sides or just shut it off on both sides. 
and it is fully adjustable so you could have just the bottom one open and just open it a fraction or as much as you want and then have them both open and it is a dual coil affair this you know you're going to want, want to run this with two coils if I pull this bit here I should be able to take the airflow adjuster out you can see we've got an o-ring here and you can see how that works as you spin it round and that's the inside of it there now in the deck you've got the uh, three mil holes going through here each post so the three mil yeah, big chunky wire in there Phillips heads they're a bit in the loose side I have to say the you know when you're unscrewing them they do move about a fair old bit I haven't had any issues with snapping wire on uh, the one that I've been using so that's been fine and um, we've got a couple of o-rings to hold everything together juice well is six millimeters deep and you can see that the you know the two earths are actually milled into the deck it's all one piece and we do have this T-post going on here as well so that's your two lives in the middle there I'm not going to go through how to rebuild this or anything because this is the one I've been using and to be perfectly honest it's an absolute doddle um, yeah like I say I'm at 0.3 ohm here and straight forward and <laughs> just <laughs> Yeah, it, it really gets going. It really does get going, this thing. But that's it for the, the close-ups. Right, let's go back up top. The thing about this is that it it just looks crap on a tube. This isn't for tube mods. This is for your box mods, okay? This is for your box mods. Um, so I'm not even going to bother putting out a tube to show you. Because, I mean, you're looking from, I mean, from here to here across, you're looking at about 28 millimetres. So, you know, it just looks crazy on a mod uh, you really do want to be putting this on a box mod you also have to be quite selective about which box mod you put it onto because I mean even an iStick 50 here I mean that looks pretty crap however if I stick it on a Vapor Shark RDNA then you know that's actually quite smart so just bear in mind when you're buying this that it needs to be a box mod, um, you know, and you need it to be at least 22 millimeters in diameter, you know, a diameter across width or whatever you want to call it, going across the way, uh, or it'll just overhang and look silly. Um, aesthetics wise, that's up to you guys. I, I have to say that I do think it looks pretty damn good. Now, here's what you have to bear in mind. Now, how does this fit onto my device? How do I get the air holes lined up all the time? Well, your air holes aren't always going to line up directly with your coils. Depending on when you screw the base down, like for example here, my coils are actually facing off that way a little bit. So what you have to do is go around, basically find the sides with the holes and put them in front of the coils as best you can and just push it down until it's sitting square and then just open the airflow and adjust the taste um, so they're not always going to be bang in line but i would be honest I don't think I, I haven't found that it affects it much at all uh, it really doesn't it's never going to be really that much out you know, it's not a case of you're going to have the you know the coils facing that way and the air hole's going to be over here. That doesn't happen. Uh, it always just seems to line up kind of bang on. I'm cheating here. I, I've just stuck the, the little drip tip on. Well, it's not that little. Uh, because for me, whilst I've got this at a really low resistance, well, low resistance for me, um, if you're wondering how this is for throwing clouds, then you will love this. You will absolutely love this because there's masses of airflow come through it with, you know, this drip tip on it. You just, you get, you can chuck clouds all day long if that's your thing. What you can also do is you can run out and just shoot that dog that keeps barking. No, sorry. Uh, you can, you know, close the airflow off a bit and, you know, put the smaller drip tip on and you can have quite a relaxed draw on it if you like what I will say and I, you know this is not 
there's no dome going on here. There's no, there's no fan. It, there's nothing fancy to say that this is going to give you the best flavour under the sun. With the build I've got on it, and I had a higher build, I had a one ohm build on it, but to be perfectly honest, I found it to be uh, not that great. It really isn't. I, I mean, it's flavour wise, it's just meh. Yeah, meh. Um, however, for me, this really comes to life when you put low resistances on it, more power to it, and quite a strong distinctive flavour, and it just comes to life. Personally, for me, I just like to have it running with just one of the air slits open, not both of them. It's too much air for me. And that's it. Right, pros and cons in this. Uh, cons, first thing, uh, this is not for a tube mod. It has to be a box mod. So there you go. Um, other thing is, you have to... It's not when you're adjusting the airflow you always turn the drip tip clockwise if you try and turn it anti-clockwise you just unscrew the drip tip off of it completely so you always have to turn it so if your adjustment is off a little bit then you have to turn it all the way around again just till you get it bang on it's not a great hardship and uh, i've just got to mention it it's just one of these little things uh, Another con might be if you're after, well, to be perfectly honest, if you're after a flavour atty uh, at uh, around the 1 ohm mark, then this isn't for you. You you just will not get your flavour out of it. You just won't. Uh, this is, for me, this is uh, mainly for cloud chasers, uh, given the airflow that you can get through it. Uh, it's not... Nah, it's... It, if you can get lots of flavour when you're cloud chasing, which is possible, I used to think it wasn't possible, but I'm totally wrong in that, I, I do I do admit that, uh, then, yeah, fire on, fire on. I think it's an excellent buy. I think it's nice and distinctive, and I think it looks bloody gorgeous on box mods. Um, some box mods, not all box mods it looks good on, just some. Yeah. And I have thoroughly enjoyed using this. It's not my thing, it's not my cup of tea, uh, but I've got no issues recommending it to folk. If you're looking for something stylish to put on top of your box mod, then go for it. Yeah, really go for it. I just, I just like, it's just a wee thing. It's just like the silver plate contact, you know, the, the heavy engraving of the logo and whatnot on it. Um, the fact you get the two drip tips with it. For 25 quid you, can't, you just can't argue with that you just cannot argue with that but that's it from me guys we'll catch you next time and thank you to uh, Petal as always for sending this on and uh, we'll catch you next time take care, bye now